right this thing off his head. I, Benjamin Fletcher, do hereby plead guilty to the charges of treason against the state. I understand the sentence for my crime is incineration and burned until I am dead. In exchange for this plea, I might be spared the humiliation of a public trial and my execution be carried out privately and mercifully. You want me to beg for mercy? What a fantasy this must have been for you. Sign this plea and I will personally see to it that your execution is swift and dignified. If I refuse? It'll be anything but dignified. I would prefer not to resort to physical torture. I want this to be civilized. I know who you are. You're Richard Vogel's wife. Names. I want the names of your friends, names of other resistance. I'm sorry. It was a mistake. It was not our intention to kill anyone. Richard was an innocent man with whom you had no reason to engage. You took everything from him, from me. Richard was anything but innocent. I'm more likely to believe the man that I love than the man who killed him. When love is the first lie, every lie after is easy. Ah. <sighs> Don't make me change my mind about torture. What is it that you and your friends are trying to accomplish? Come on, tell me. Why are you so compelled to rise up against the state? Aren't you happy? Aren't we a rich society with everything you could possibly want and more? The expense of what? Hard work. Society working together for a better tomorrow. You believe that? What else is there? Freedom. The right to choose. A system of government run by the entire population, not an elite few. Isn't that what we have? The architect has no political rivals and there hasn't been an election in years. How do you explain that? You. You have prevented that. With the constant threat of terror. You have brought this government to a standstill. I assure you, the resistance is not capable of orchestrating the amount of violence that we are credited with. No. No. The architect knows that the perpetual threat of violence keeps us in a constant state of anxiety and fear and disconnects us from one another. It divides us. People stop trusting each other. Citizens begin to feel as though they cannot govern themselves and so they become dependent on our corrupt leaders. We are divided because they have divided us. Our leaders, the wealthy, the elite, have pitted us against each other so that they win and we lose. The anger and hate we have for one another is misdirected. It should not be towards us. It should be towards them and what we have to do to take back our lives. Which is what? Burn it all to the ground. You condemn a government that uses violence to control its citizens. Yet you turn around and use the same violence to accomplish your goal. It is not ideal, but it is the only language the state understands. You are nothing more than a hypocrite. Violence is not our goal. Yet you destroy a building with my husband in it. Explain to me how that's not violent. It was a mistake. The building was supposed to be empty. There wasn't supposed to be anyone in there. We simply wanted to send a message. Message received. I'm gonna ask you one last time. I will not give up the names of my friends. 
I guess we'll do this the hard way. No! 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 No!